Hello, kids of the kingdom. Pastor Tosh here with Leo, Mr. Potato Head, Jesus, of course, having our weekly pizza and tea party. Um, tonight, I wanted to talk about how Jesus came to this world and flipped everything upside down. Like, everything upside down. So Matthew 5 is the scripture I have up, and I know it's a whole chapter, and we're going to read the story from our Kids of the Kingdom Bible here. Um, it's often referred to as the Sermon on the Mount. And Jesus gave a lot of information that would have turned the folks at this time upside down in their thinking. And be like, what is happening with this? Why is this guy saying this stuff? Um, so we're just going to jump right into it. And then I'll commentate on why this was different than what they would have been used to in their culture and their way of living. And how Jesus came into the world and changed everything. And everything for the good, but even when things are changed for the good, sometimes it's hard to wrap our heads around. So we'll jump into the story here. The Sermon on the Mount. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of God belongs to them. Jesus was standing on a hill, and a huge crowd had gathered here to hear him talk. Blessed are those who are sad. They will be comforted. Jesus was making a list, but it wasn't a kind of list that anyone had heard before. Blessed are those who don't put themselves first. They will receive the whole world. Jesus was listing people who didn't have much. People who were sad. People who didn't use their strength to get their own way. People who tried to make peace when other people were fighting and probably got punched right in the jaw because of it. Whew. Jesus was listing people who usually ended up at the back of the line. Not anymore, he said. In the kingdom of God, you will be the happiest of them all. What? Jesus was talking about God's kingdom, where God is in control. And it sounded like an upside-down world. If you've ever been sad, you'll be happy. If you've been last, you'll be first. If you've tried to make peace, you will be the sons and daughters of the King of Peace. The sons and daughters of God himself. The people around Jesus couldn't believe what they were hearing. The least important people in the kingdoms of earth will be the most important in the kingdom of God. Remember how the angels brought the message of Jesus' birth, not to kings and rich people, but to shepherds. From the very beginning, Jesus was changing things, even when he was a baby. Remember how Jesus was born not in a palace, but in a barn? Yep, God's kingdom is totally different from the kingdoms of earth, but Jesus wasn't finished. The law of Moses says to not kill people, but, he's, but Jesus says... But I say, hating someone in your heart is just as bad. What? Hating someone is as bad as killing them? The law says people who hurt you should be punished. But I say, if someone hits you on the cheek, let them hit you on the other cheek too. If someone steals your shirt, give them your coat as well. What? Give my coat to someone who steals my shirt? The law says to love your neighbors. But I say you should love your enemies just as much. People got really confused. This guy is crazy, they said to each other. But Jesus wasn't crazy. Jesus was teaching them about a whole new way to live. A forever kind of life lived with God. You see, the old rules of Moses could only change what you did on the outside. They couldn't change who you were on the inside. I didn't come to make you do better things, Jesus said. I came to make you different people. I came to make you the kind of person that I am. And that kind of person doesn't need all those rules. That kind of person has a new heart. A heart that loves everyone. A heart that gives to everyone. A heart that puts other people first always. A heart like Jesus's heart. Come to me all you who are tired. All you who are worn out and weighed down by the rules. I'm not here to make you follow the rules. I'm here to make you a new person. Standing on the hill that day, preaching his sermon on the mount, Jesus invited everyone into a new kind of life. A life that wasn't about rules, but about relationship. 
a life that wasn't about a life that was about a relationship with Jesus that can change us from the inside out. Isn't that great news today that Jesus came to have a relationship with us? And there's a lot of good stuff in here that we could break down. Um, but the, the crux of it all is when he's talking about don't just love your neighbor, but love your enemies, is it's see, world from the, see the world from the perspective of Jesus. Everybody is made unique and awesome and amazing. So if you have troubles with that person or don't have troubles with that person, we should still love them. That's the crux of it. And Jesus wants us to... See, in the Old Testament, when you had all these rules, it was about all these outward things. Do this, do that, do this, do that. But what Jesus is calling us to do is something deeper than that. When Jesus came in the world, he's asking for depth. And that's a relationship. And a relationship is much bigger than anything that we could just do. A relationship takes effort. It takes time. And so that's why it's important that we spend time with Jesus. We get to know who Jesus is through reading scriptures, through prayer. We get to know the people within our life. Maybe the reason that somebody is our enemy is just because we don't know them well enough to know differently. So, Jesus, I'm hoping with this lesson and other lessons that we're learning through different means, our prayer, worship services, time you have alone with God, time you pray, time you... Time you sit in whatever that that happy place is for you to spend time with God is changing you from the inside out, changing your heart to be softer and more open to what God has in store for you. And you can start building that deeper and deeper relationship with Jesus and then deeper relationships with those around you. Because that is what life's about. A life that was about a relationship with Jesus that can change us from the inside out, that can make us our genuine selves that God created us to be. All right, let us pray, kids of the kingdom. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for gathering us here tonight around our pizza and tea, God, and to learn a lesson about the the deeper meaning of, of your word here tonight about the Sermon on the Mount and that you were trying to help us to break down barriers where we think this and that of our of ourselves or this or that of other people, God, and to go deeper than that and we're and understand that we're all kids of the kingdom. We are all unique and awesome, God, and you want to have a relationship with each and every one of us because you think that we are all wonderfully and equally made, God, and help us to start seeing the world as you see it, God, that you created everything and everything is everyone is awesome, God, and that we just need to maybe get to know you a little bit better to understand that and to get to know each other better so we can understand who each other are, God. We thank you very much for this time together, God, in your precious name we pray. Amen. Well, kids of the kingdom, thank you for joining me tonight for uh, some scripture and prayer. We'll be back here in about 20-ish minutes for our Wednesday worship. And then, of course, we'll be back tomorrow at 7 o'clock for our 7 o'clock prayer time. Have a good night, everybody.